Hello everyone, William Fletcher here from authoritypower.com and I'm excited to do this training because today I'm going to be showing you how to make money blogging in 2016 and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it step by step, page by page and I'm going to break down this entire funnel uh, that you see on the screen right now. Now, uh, the beauty of this guys is what I'm able to do in my business is run a completely automated business, meaning that all I have to do is go out there and create content, put content in front of my audience, and get them back to my blog, and the funnel that you see on your screen works 100% automated and does all the work for me. Now, um, looking at this, you know, you're going to see some things uh, such as products. Uh, in my business, in my blog, I actually create all the products myself. Uh, these are my own information products, digital products that I create and sell on my blog. But the beauty of this, guys, is you could set up a similar automated funnel just like this for any kind of offer that you have. Um, this could be done with affiliate offers. Uh, you could do this promoting various affiliate offers all the way from low ticket affiliate offers to uh, higher ticket affiliate offers. Um, if you are someone who has a service, maybe you're a graphic designer or a freelance writer, um, you could put something like this into your business as well. So that's the beauty of it guys. Once you have a funnel um, in place, you can focus on traffic and sales and let the funnel do its work and then you can optimize your funnel until you're getting the max result um, and you're you're really kicking butt you got things going good uh, you got a successful blog so with that like I said um, I'm gonna run through this now this may look a little complex to you it's not that bad I promise um, we're gonna go through it step by step and then I'm even gonna show you as we go through this uh, the different pages on my blog that represent what's in this funnel so um, I guess what you don't see here on the screen guys is is everything that happens before you get to this stage so this is the automated funnel guys uh, this right here now before this over here on the left this would be where your blog is and then just outside of your blog would be you know social media uh, Google search and all the stuff that's coming into your blog and driving traffic to your blog Facebook YouTube all that stuff and then when they get to their to your blog they're going to be presented with what's called a lead magnet and what this is guys if you don't know it's simply a free offer that is used to get people onto your email list so they come to your blog uh, they read an awesome article, they see uh, a link on your sidebar, uh, you know, to get this awesome free ebook or this free video or this free checklist or this free template or whatever it is that you're using to entice people to get on your mailing list uh, and they enter their email address and they uh, receive that free offer. So that free offer is what our lead magnet is. Now, uh, so to kind of demonstrate this, like I said, we're going to jump back and forth. So let me go over to my blog here uh, to one of my articles. So this is a uh, blog post I just wrote yesterday. So, um, you know, somebody comes here from Facebook or they come here from Google uh, or they, they heard of the podcast and came to my blog that way. So they land on this page um, and they're going through this article. Uh, they're reading the article, maybe they listen to the podcast here, uh, they read some tips, but as they go through, guys, they go, oh, what's this? The content machine. And they click on this ad right here, guys. Well, guess what this does? This takes them to a squeeze page, and guess what I'm offering them on this squeeze page? I'm offer the, offering them a lead magnet. So... Um, so basically this right here would be my squeeze page where I'm trying to get people to uh, enter their email address to download my free offer which is my lead magnet so if I hop back over to our funnel here um, this is what I'm trying to get them to do I'm trying to get them to give me their email address um, uh, to get this free lead magnet now once they enter their their email in here my awesome email at email.com 
they would be sent over to what's next on here which is called a segmentation sale now what a segmentation sale is guys um, basically you have two kinds of people on your email list you have um, someone who is a buyer and someone who is not a buyer uh, and it's very important that you have a different distinction for each of them because people that buy from you are going to buy from you again they're more likely to buy for you again um, they're the people that you want to make sure you're getting your offers in front of now on the other hand you have the people down here on the bottom who are not your buyers who we're going to spend time you know focusing on turning them into buyers getting them to buy our segmentation sale but uh, for the sake of simplicity let's look at how this works so that person would enter their email address in right here they would opt into our email address to get our free lead magnet at that point they are sent to a thank you page um, that is a sales page for our segmentation sale so that would look like oops this right here so um, essentially they opted in and they're sent to this page and they go hmm what's this this is our segmentation sale and they would go down through here they would read this um, and guys this is a sales page for a product that we have called the authority formula this is one of our segmentation sale products so they would come down um, and you know oh yeah I want to buy this and if they bought this guys they come up here to our buyers list and we'll go through that here in just a second but if they don't buy it they would hit no thanks um, and that would take them uh, to the download page to grab their free lead magnet um, and they would come on our freebie list so <clears throat> let's talk about what happens when someone buys that segmentation sale so they opted into our email list they were sent to the sales page for our segmentation sale um, and they bought it so they came on to our buyers list so what happens at this point well guys once someone gets on our buyers list we're using an autoresponder um, essentially an autoresponder guys if you don't know what that is um, it's a service like Aweber uh, get response active campaign something like that uh, but basically what it allows you to do is a collect email addresses um, and send out automated emails to the people that join your email list. Now it also lets you send out what is called live broadcast, which is basically if I wanted to type an email to my entire email list right now and send it out immediately, that would be considered a broadcast. However, if I wanted to automate emails, that's what's called an autoresponder and you set that up um, it through a service like Aweber so your emails go out in certain intervals maybe I want uh, an email to go out every day for the next seven days and that's what this is right here guys so uh, just to reiterate they come in they opt in to get our lead magnet they purchase the segmentation sale they're put on our buyers list and then they start going through our autoresponder sequence which which is seven days of emails that is promoting what is called our core offer and this core offer guys it's a higher price product now if I go back to this page you'll see that our segmentation sale in this case was seventeen dollars now um, when they get to the I'm sorry when they get to the actual core product guys that is going to be uh, typically a higher price offer it could be 47 it could be 97 it could be 197 uh, it really depends on the type of business what niche that you're in um, so prices will vary so you would want to do some research there for your niche if you were wanting to set all this up uh, if you're doing affiliate offers um, like if you went out to ClickBank and found an offer on there uh, you know most of these you know high converting affiliate offers on ClickBank are already really optimized and people are already selling them really well um, so you don't really have to you know choose your price points and all that stuff um, so if you're using affiliate offers you'll kind of know that um, just by going there and, and, and picking which products you're going to promote now uh, to talk about what the seven day core sequence is guys uh, this is a combination of relationship building emails um, that transitions into a promotion for our core offer so uh, in email one obviously you would be you know saying thank you uh, you know for buying 
whatever your segmentation sale is. So in my case, I would say, you know, thank you for purchasing the authority formula. Uh, you know, you know, welcome to the group. Glad to have you here. You can download your product here. Uh, before you go, I just wanted to let you know, uh, you know, that uh, we take our customers serious. Uh, if any time you need help and just basically building a relationship with them, starting the, the, you know, hey, I want you to know who we are. I want you to like us. I want you to trust us. And we're going to start building on that relationship. But we're also going to set the stage. Um, so near the end of that first email, you would say something like, um, you know, we're going to send you the our best stuff. Um, so from time to time, we're going to be sending you some awesome tips and techniques, but we're also going to send you things that we think are going to help you, uh, which is going to be your products. Now, obviously, you don't say that, um, but the reality, that's what it is. So uh, that's email one. Um, emails two through four, probably more content emails, giving them more tips, um, you know, adding to what they might have learned uh, in your segmentation sale product. Now, by the time you get to email five through seven, guys, you want them aware of what your core offer is, how it can help them, and you're going to, uh, by email six and seven, you're sending them over to the sales page of your core offer. Um, and I'm going to reiterate everything again just so I can make sure you're following along here. So someone comes in uh, to our blog over here they land on our blog so they land on a page like this they see an offer on your blog somewhere um, in my case in the sidebar they would click on that you know they're taken to a squeeze page um, from that squeeze page they enter in their email address they're presented with our segmentation sale uh, they choose to buy that product and then they're put on our buyers list so we have um, you know, seven days of emails that go out and build that relationship, but near the end of that email sequence, we're promoting our core offer. And through those emails, they get a link over to our core offer sales page, which looks something like this. So, and this is my Authority Power Lab program. This is currently uh, the main core offer I pro promote uh, for our uh, Authority Power business. So, um, they would come to this page and this is a sales page for, uh, like I said, our core offer, our authority power lab program. And, um, they may buy this, they may not. Um, but, uh, that's how the sequence works. Um, so you can see how if they buy it one time, it's $197. Uh, if they pay per month, it's $27 a month. So you can see, um, you know, how the price difference uh, you know, really adds up there between your segmentation cell and your core offer. Now, um, once they have been through that sequence, guys, um, it, you know, once we're done promoting our core offer, whether they buy it or not, um, they are now a buyer lead, and we want to maximize the effectiveness of buyer leads. So. Um, what you'll see here is you have two days of content. So this would be, um, you know, another two days of emails, giving them valuable tips, sending them to videos, um, sending them to messages on our blog. Um, I should have turned those notifications off, sorry. Um, but giving them uh, good, valuable information. And then over here, we're promoting more offers to them. So this could be um, some of our other products. Um, it could be um you know affiliate offers all that kind of stuff so that we basically went through the entire funnel as if someone bought everything um as they go through and now let's talk about the bottom side of this so you guys know how this stuff on the left works so um, they land on your blog over here they click a link on your sidebar to get your lead magnet they enter in their email address they come to the segmentation sale page and they say nope uh, not for me. I don't know who you are yet. I don't know enough about your company. I'm going to check out the free lead magnet um, and go from there. So they didn't buy, so they're not on our buyers list. They come down here to our freebie list. Okay, guys. And once they're on our freebie list, we have something very similar um, to what we did up here with promoting our core offer with our freebie list. So uh, we're going to do a seven day sequence, but this time instead of promoting our core offer, we're promoting that segmentation sale 
uh, that we originally promoted to them. Uh, so this this one down here would work the same. We'd build up that relationship, but instead of promoting our core offer, we're promoting our segmentation sale. Um, so that's how that works. Um, and then, guys, how it works from there is um, if they buy that that segmentation sale, well, boom, they move up here to the buyers list and they go through all this right here. If they don't buy this, they come over here, um, and this is where. We are going to send them content emails. Uh, we're going to send them new offers and things like that. And the reason that I kind of have an arrow coming up here, guys, is so here's how this works. When you create a new front end offer, you're going to send out what is called a broadcast email. So uh, maybe I'm promoting a new product or I created a new product that I want to sell uh, to my email list. So I would promote that to both my buyers and my freebie list. And I would do that in what's called a broadcast email. I would do that in real time. But after the launch of that product, guys, I would add that to my back-end email campaign uh, that you see up here that my buyers go through. So that way, not only am I making money when I originally launched the product, guys, I'm making money here on the back-end uh, from my buyers, the people that are most likely to buy from me uh, for years to come. So a lot of people leave that out, guys. They they do these product launches they create these awesome products um, they make a whole lot of money when they launch them um, and then they're on to the next launch um, and you know they just kind of let that product go to waste why do that you know if it's a solid product that you're teaching on an evergreen product you know put it in your back end sales funnel and your buyers are going to get value out of it because they're going to buy that stuff and you know it's good for you you're gonna make some money from it but you're also helping your audience you know grow more learn more and giving them more value so uh, in a nutshell guys that's you know that's how you know I run all my blogs um, you know that's how I make sure that I create profitable blogs um, and like I said guys um, right now you may not have your own products you know um, you know maybe you don't want to create your own products and that's fine now I highly encourage you uh, at some point to get out there create your own products I promise guys it's not uh, as hard as you may think it is um, it, it, and I got plenty of you know training on that over at authoritypower.com if you if you're even thinking about creating your own product but know that you don't have to have your own products to do this uh, a matter of fact I know one uh, affiliate marketer the guy is so freaking smart uh, I'm not gonna say his name but you've probably seen his ads on Facebook if you're if you're looking up anything related to internet marketing or building a business online and he is strictly affiliate marketer and what's funny to me is this guy is a sales funnel genius I mean he has this process down uh, you know obviously his variation of it um, but he just doesn't want to create his own products. Now, if he did, I'm sure he can make even more money. But uh, he's just an affiliate marketer. He loves setting up stuff like this. He don't like creating his own products. So he does all this stuff and promotes other people's products and software. So, uh, you know, don't discount this whole system uh, if you're an affiliate marketer because you can definitely implement this and put it into uh, your business and grow your blog. Um, and really make an income from it now uh, what you don't see here guys is you don't see me talking about uh, things like uh, Google AdSense um, and, and pay-per-click type stuff you don't see me talking about advertising and all that kind of stuff because guys what you're looking at is what I consider to be the most profitable way uh, to run a blog it's you know it's the method that I teach in my authority powered lab uh, it's the method that I actually use to make money with my blog and this is the same system implemented by a lot a lot of companies online that are making a whole heck of a lot of money so that's why I teach this method um, another thing is guys a lot of those other methods you need tons and tons of traffic uh, to even make a small amount, um, let alone a big amount. Someone could go out there and implement this funnel and build up a buyer's list of a thousand people, guys, 
and make a lot more money than someone who's trying to uh, get this started and just throw ads on their blog. Um, because this way is so much more effective. Uh, you make a lot more money uh, with a lot less traffic. So that's why I focus so much of my training on building a system like this. Um, and, and beyond that, guys, you're when you do something like this, you know, you're growing your business. When you're promoting someone else's banners and ads, you're building their business. When you're promoting your own products, guys, you're building your business. You're building your assets. So that's another reason why I teach this method. Um, so guys, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this training. Um, I hope it inspires you to uh, do some big things. And if, if you like this training, come check me out over at the blog um, at authoritypower.com. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel here and if you're really serious if you really want to take things to the next level and see how I do this stuff step by step and you want to see how you can implement this system into your own business uh, join me over in the authority power lab at authoritypowerlab.com uh, so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed it I will talk to you in the next video